be truly strong. It is important that you never show weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately, so we can enter it into the casino accounts. I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do. But what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side as brother march. Only one thing on their mind. A chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows you can't help you. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping America. What kind of patriot are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but... I can't pay you, and I wouldn't pay you if I could. Some young gang just tracked up the place. They took everything. You guys are useless. What kind of Yakuza are you anyway? We're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox. Why, thank you, Matt Lowe, with 30 years. Where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and food? I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great. but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system, Laszlo. What you put in also comes out. 
especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Ladlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment and true spiritual. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, I even frame my <laughs> No offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual life. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That low, closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, oh God! Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. Do not make me angry. Bad for my karma. It will definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts like a stand up bully just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts can help you. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Lazlo, this is your final warning. Do not make me go into my dragon. Carnivore, why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla that though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones to their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Gladwell, the soul 